What's up, everybody? This is B. Smith. This is a Marvel comic card video. B. Smith back again, hitting YouTube with a bang. Check me out. 091576.bsgmail.com First card is going to go to War Machine. Out of tribute to the movie, Must Go See. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go see it at the IMAX theater. This is a tough movie right here. Go see it. It's going to be tight. And on the back, it shows Tony Stark's overwhelmed by the troubles of the world. And he needed help. And the only person that he could think of was Rhodey to fill in the position as his partner in crime. Go see that movie. It's going to be tough. Next card is going to go to Black Cat. This is a very nice card because it shows, like, like this is a very seductive card here. She's almost like a cat. How she swing from the from her rope. And if you check out her posture, almost like a feline. It's crazy. It's a little note on the back where he talks about his wife. And this character reminded him of her, her wildness and feline qualities. It's crazy. Okay, next card goes to Storm. This is a very vivid card. This is one of my favorite cards right here. This is a 95 Fear Ultra. Storm is second in command when Cyclops is not around and the X-Men. Next is Bobby Drake. Iceman drinking a glass of fruit punch on a beach right now it's spring break it's a very classic card right here it shows the very vivid qualities in Bobby Drake Iceman next card ladies and gentlemen it's gonna go to Storm once again Storm the weather goddess and in the background you're gonna see the clouds but she's forming a storm this is one of my favorite cards because of that next is gonna to go to Silver Surfer now Silver Surfer remember we heard about from the Fantastic Four he say Galactus he helped them feed upon worlds until he rebelled and decided to defeat him because he decided that Galactus was was an enemy and Silver Surfer wanted nothing else to do with him. Okay, next is gonna go to Spider-Man. And unfortunately, Spider-Man died. Now you have to read about it in the comic book to find out how it happened. Well, Spider-Man is Spider-Man, but he's just not himself. That's a little hint to keep you going. 3D hologram technology right here, Spider-Man. Next is going to go to Spider-Woman. Now, I'm not going to worry about Spider-Man dying, Peter Parker dying, you know, because there's always Spider-Woman around. And the good thing, fellas, is that she's a woman. Spider-Woman. Okay, next, my most vintage card. The oldest card in my collection right here would be this one. 1981 Cyclops. Classic Cyclops. Oh yeah, 1981. The oldest card in my deck. Next is going to go to Lilith. Don't know too much about her, but I believe she's a villain. Next is going to go to 2099 Doctor Doom. Can't forget about Doom. New suit, new attitude, new state of mind. Next is going to go to Colossus the X Men. Made of nothing but melt, nothing but metal. He is an X Men. Nice card right here. 
next goes to Bishop. Bishop is like a time traveler protecting us from the future. It's crazy. From the 1990 cartoon. Now this is the origin of Peter Parker. How we became Spider-Man. This card tells it all. And on the back has the article about Spider-Man. Which I do not have time to read it at this moment. But it's pretty nice. Okay, next goes to Toad. Arch enemy working with Magneto. Toad. Next is going to go to Psylocke. Psylocke is Asian. A ninja. It's crazy with the razor sharp sword that could cut through almost anything. Psylocke. Okay, next goes to Dark Phoenix. Now, with the Fire Phoenix in the background. This is a Marvel Masterpiece 1993. Very nice card. Next is going to go to Ghost Rider 2099. Ghost Rider. Never look him in his eyes. Because he can make you crazy. He can kill you. Huh. Crazy. Anyway. Professor X in Jubilee. Spring Break. Next is going to go to my favorite Hulk of all. Who's my favorite Hulk? She Hulk. The red version. Yes, of course, she is Bruce Banner's girlfriend. Um, she played his girlfriend in the movie, the daughter of the military commander in chief. The man who hunted Bruce Banner down. It's her right here. This is his daughter. And as a matter of fact, the commander is the Red Hulk. It's crazy. Alright, right now I'm about to take it back to Greek mythology. This is a import. This is a Zeus card. It's an import from another country. If you have one of these, you know that you're the man right here. Zeus, the god of all gods. Very vivid card right here. It's one of my favorites. Okay, next is going to go to Master Mode. Now, Master Mode is like a dual threat because he produces signals and more signals and more signals against the X Men. Master mode right here, dual threat. Every signal comes from this guy right here. Master mode. The article about him on the back. Arch villain. But he's nothing compared to this guy right here. Who is this guy? Galactus. The end. Feeds upon worlds. The power to. To take away mutant powers Galactus the powerful most powerful sentinel ever Mashimo has nothing over Galactus he's like the ultimate sentinel he is doomed he's the greatest enemy in, in the Marvel Universe Galactus next card is going to go to the classic X-Men this is a classic Un the uncanny X-Men special edition Cyclops right here this card brings me back takes me back to the 80's takes me back through all the issues I bought through all the pages I ripped up just to just to brainstorm about what would happen next this sums it all this is when Dark Phoenix actually dies and Cyclops is emotionally in pain this is crazy this is a collector's car right here this is the end of my collection thank you for viewing my video I am B Smith signing
out. You guys take it easy.